Well, hello everybody. It's uh, Michael J. Burns here, and I'm coming to you live on Facebook right now, and we're going to be rebroadcasting our show today on Twitter, Getter, LinkedIn, two other Facebook pages, as well as our Truth Social page now we have, and that's a great resource for you. And I hope you'll take advantage of joining all of those platforms. And we're presenting this message of God's healing word on all of them. And we're letting people know that Jesus Christ is alive and well and he is Lord. And uh, glory to God. Thank God today. Uh, we are spending time in the word of God today. Hey, I'm going to just take you around the different cameras. Hello, everybody. And uh, we have our new Mevo Starts. Uh, three of them actually and uh, this is camera number two and uh, I'm going to show you camera number three over here this is camera number three how we doing over there and uh, we have all these different angles that we can come to you on and we're very excited about the possibilities of what we're learning uh, to do with all of these different cameras and so we're very very uh, stirred in our hearts about it we believe we'll be more effective in reaching people I even have some extra banners that I want to put up, and uh, I, at the end of the broadcast, we're going to spend some time doing all of that, and uh, let me just put these banners up, amen, and I know that they'll be a blessing to you, because this is Thursday, it's May the 12th, 2022, and we're teaching on God's medicine, taking the prescription, and I know that you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, I know that uh, it's been a really great teaching as we've been sharing about God's medicine, the Word of God, and how that we can take the prescription. And that's what God wants us to do. Praise God. Hey, be sure right here on my left shoulder, you see our website, mjbministries.org. Uh, you can visit there. We have It's absolutely free to go there. We have our free audios. We have a link to our YouTube channel. We have our MJB Ministries mobile app links to the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. We have a way you can sign up for our e-newsletter. There's actually a pop-up window to sign up for that. We also have uh, a link, as I said, to our YouTube channel with over 200 free videos that you can enjoy and watch. And, you know, you'll see when we first started, we only had one camera. And, uh, we, you know, we were kind of learning our way. Now we have three, and we're just got them in the last two weeks and so we're excited about uh, all the possibilities of what we'll be able to do anyway I'm looking forward to sharing with you tonight the Word of God don't forget that tomorrow night Friday night is financial stewardship Friday and we're going to be talking about finances tomorrow and what the Bible has to say about it and we'll be on the air at nine o'clock central time on the East Coast, it's 10 p.m. On the West Coast, it's 7 p.m. And so uh, don't forget that we'll be coming to you live on Facebook and then broadcasting uh, within an hour or so of the uh, once we get this show uploaded and, and posted on these other platforms as well. And so we're very, very excited about it. I'm going to be sharing some very important information tomorrow night about financial stewardship. And I don't want you to miss it. We're going to be uh, sharing some of the ways you can become partners with us, but I'm going to give you some specifics about what the financial picture of MJB Ministries looks like. So I know you don't want to miss tomorrow night. It's going to be very, very exciting as we're going to get into the Word of God tomorrow. Let's have a word of prayer before we get into the teaching tonight. Heavenly Father, we come boldly before your throne of grace to obtain mercy and find grace to help in our time of need. And as we come before you right now, we're asking you, Father God, to speak to us through your word. You know, people are always asking, I wish God would speak to me. Well, if we would open our Bibles up, we would hear God speak to us. And Father, you do speak to us through your word. That's the rule, not the exception. Thank God you can speak to us in audible voices or through angels or uh, many other ways. And those are the exceptions and not necessarily the rule. Anything you say to us audibly or anything you say to us through angelic visitations, Lord, they have to be confirmed by the Word of God. If they're out of line with the Scriptures, we don't accept them. 
And so we know that what you have for us is in line with the Word of God. And we thank you for prophetic ministry tonight going forth as we teach the Word of God to help people, especially those who are sick and diseased in their body. I'm asking you to think through my mind and speak through my lips to your people. I'm asking that you'd cause every ear to be listening, every mind open, and every heart receptive to the things of the Word and of the Spirit of God. And Father, I welcome the supernatural gifts and ministries of the Holy Spirit into this broadcast here tonight to meet the need of every single individual or group of individuals that might be watching tonight. And Father, I thank you for it now in covenant with you to give you all the glory, honor, and praise, and thanks for it all. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Praise God. Well, thank God for the Word of God. Thank God that we can uh, take time in the Word and in prayer. And as we do, uh, we are absolutely connecting with God. Your know, prayer is a way you can connect with God. Some people don't ever connect with God. You know, they talk to God like He's way out off outside the ozone and, and He can't really hear us, you know. But I'm telling you something, He's closer than the air you breathe. He is in us. If you're a Christian, if you're born again, He lives on the inside of you. And thank God today He does live on the inside of you and on the inside of me. Praise God forevermore. Amen. Well, let's get into the teaching of God's Word on God's medicine, taking the prescription. As you know, I've been teaching uh, and showing you how after I had had six years ago, this coming June and July, I had seven strokes in three parts of my brain. Well, God spoke to me in that hospital and said to me, he said, uh, Son, uh, I need you to understand that the weight of your words have brought about this consequence that you're experiencing. And then he said to me, but if I would take the weight of his word and put it in my heart and in my mouth and believe about myself what he said about me, that I would completely reverse this, situa this situation and I would stand taller than I've ever stood before. Well, that gave me hope because I was telling you, I'm telling you now, I was feeling pretty lonely that day. And I couldn't believe that the doctor said I had had at that moment four strokes in my cerebellum caused by my left vertebral artery that was occluded, they said, which meant blocked. There was narrowing but flow in my right vertebral artery and uh, that was feeding my brain the blood it needed. And they didn't really give me much hope. They said, well, what we can do is nothing really except maybe give you some statin drugs which over time have been shown to clear out plaque, they said. But, you know, statins aren't really that good for you. Well, I've been doing what God said. I took his word. I put it in my heart. I put it in my mouth. And God has done just what he said he would do. And what he had already done through Christ, he had reversed the situation. And I'm standing tall. I, I used to have a drooping mouth. I used to have a, a double vision. I'd have to wear a, a patch on both eyes. Come on, somebody. I had to walk with a cane. My mouth would droop like this. And I, I had lost my balance. I couldn't stand up properly straight. I had to use a shower chair to take a shower. I mean, I know what it's like to have to go through that particular issue. But I did what God said to do. And I'm telling you, I would do it going down to the water in Long Island where I, where I was pastoring at the time. And I pastored there for 35 years with my wife, Cynthia, and uh, we I had to go down at 4 or 5 in the morning. I would be down there for an hour or two, and I would just speak the Word of God over my body and worship God and thank God for His goodness in my life. And, and I took the prescription of God's Word, which is God's medicine for me. And, uh, you know, six years later almost, I am completely well. My own doctor in Long Island, Dr. Keith Horning, was so impressed. He said, I know hundreds, thousands of stroke victims. I don't know anybody who had seven strokes in three parts of their brain and is doing as well as you're doing. You know, he prayed with me and accepted Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. Praise God. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that's a great testimony. Praise God. Now, the thing about it is this, folks is that I did what the Word of God said. Now, God spoke to me specifically, but it was right in line with His Word, right in line with the Word of God. See, God's not going to speak to you outside of His Word. Everything He says by the Holy Spirit will line up with the B-I-B-L-E. Can I get a good hearty 
amen from somebody. And so our opening scripture we've been reading for the last several days is from Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20 through 22, where God said, and this is God's prescription for your healing, just like it was for mine, my son, attend to my words, incline your ear into my sayings, let them not depart from your eyes, keep them in the midst of your heart. And then verse 22 says something so powerfully, for they are life unto those that find them and health to all their flesh. Listen to verse 22 again. For they, God's words, God's sayings, uh, they are life to those who find them. That means you, if you find them and discover them by meditating and by confessing them, they'll be life to you and health, the Bible says, to all of your flesh. That's your internal flesh, where your organs are, where the systems of your body are, as well as even your outside flesh. And so that's the beauty of it. The word health there in the Hebrew, in the margin, actually says, or medicine. So God's word is medicine for you and for me. Can I get a good hearty amen from somebody today? Now, uh, let's look at this book I've been reading from, and I share it almost every day. I, I get into it almost every day uh, where I talk about, uh, I've talked about Charles Capps, who's in heaven now. But he wrote many great books on God's creative power, and he has one specifically about healing. He also has one on finances and other books about the power of our words, and I'd recommend all of his books to you. You could still get them today. His ministry is still thriving, even though he's no longer on the earth. But yesterday, I began to share some scriptures with you about different aspects. And I actually, for the last several days, I've been sharing these scriptures with you. And the one I'm going to be sharing today is uh, about, well, we're going to start with our immune system. You know, uh, I've had uh, some tremendous uh, miracles happen over the course of the for over 40 years of ministry I've been involved in now. Of course, I went to Rama back in 1981 and graduated, as did my wife. Uh, but here's the thing I'd say to you. Uh, your immune system, you know, one of the most... Uh, terrifying diseases today is a disease called AIDS. And AIDS is an acronym that actually stands for Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome. In other words, people's immune system is basically turned off. And so people who have AIDS who have acquired it uh, through whether a dirty needle or through sexual promiscuity, it can happen in many ways or even through blood transfusions. Uh, if they get tainted blood, the, that disease literally turns off their immune system and they could actually die from something as simple as a common cold. And so, you know, normally your immune system is able to fight off flus or colds or other type things. But when people have something like AIDS, their immune system is compromised. And so here's the beautiful thing. Oh, this confession I love, uh, and I say this about my immune system. I don't have AIDS, thank God, and I never will. Uh, but my immune system, I say, grows stronger day by day. I speak life to my immune system. You ought to do that today, too. I forbid confusion in my immune system. For the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells on the inside of me and quickens or makes alive my immune system with the very Zoe life and wisdom of God which guards the life and health of my physical body. Now, that's a powerful confession. I want you to make it with me right now. Say this after me. Say, my immune system grows stronger day by day. Go ahead and say that. My immune system grows stronger day by day. I speak life to my immune system. Say that. I speak life to my immune system. I forbid confusion in my immune system. Say that out loud. I forbid confusion in my immune system. Then say this, the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead, say it out loud, the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells on the inside of me, dwells on the inside of me, say it, and quickens or makes alive my immune system, amen, with the Zoe life, and wisdom of God. Say that aloud. With the Zoe life and wisdom of God, then say this, which guards the very life and health, 
which guards the life and health of my physical body. Praise God. Now, I'm going to tell you, it would be a whole lot easier if you got this book because it has a chapter in there on the confessions that you can make over your body, especially if you need healing. Now, yes, as I said, one of the finances, I'd recommend that one as well. But I'm saying that if you need healing, you can even download it from uh, book I books from from the different Amazon or uh, you know the different books uh, a million and Barnes and Noble if you you can download it right to your smart device or your phone for that matter I have it on my phone I have it on my iPad I'm reading it to you now from my iPad Pro but I'm saying that you could do the same thing uh, for your life praise God and so I would recommend this there's not any magical words here. But we are believing that God's promises are activated by the voice we speak, by the words we say. Now, I'm going to read because I don't have a lot of time to have, stop and have you make these confessions. But I want to give you an example of how to take the prescription of God's word. This one is based, again, uh, on the word of God in 1 Peter 2.24. And this is about having healthy bones and marrow of the bones. So I speak. To the bone, muscle, and I add the word muscles, bones and joints of my body. I speak to the muscles, bones and joints of my body. I call you normal in Jesus' name. My muscles, bones and joints will not respond to any disease that I add or injury. For the spirit life of 1 Peter 2.24 permeates every muscle, bone and joint of my body with life and with health. Can I get a good hearty amen from somebody? Now, I don't know why that's doing that, but let's figure it out here. Uh, amen. Let's. Amen. 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 There we go. Amen. Okay, good. Had a problem where only half the page was shown. All right, here's another confession I make. Let me see what time it is. We have some time. Father, Heavenly Father, I make a demand on my muscle, on my bones. I, this, I, I say just the bones in this part. Father, I make a demand on my bones to produce perfect marrow. How many of you know marrow is produced inside the bones of your body? I make a demand on my bones to produce perfect marrow. I make a demand on the marrow to produce pure blood that will ward off sickness and disease of any and every kind. My bones, my muscles, my joints refuse any offense of the curse. Glory to God. And then I say, I make a demand on my muscles, bones, and joints to function perfectly. There will be no pain. There will be no swelling in my muscles, bones, and joints. For my muscles, bones, and joints refuse to allow anything that will hurt or destroy their normal function. That's Proverbs 17, 22, and that's based on. Now, those confessions about the muscles, bones, and joints and things, I make those confessions before I go to the gym and work out because, you know, I, when I work out, I walk over four miles, and I lift weights as I'm walking, and I do about, a, I figured it out the other day, I do about a 1,000 curls, and I do them three different ways. I do them, you know, this way, this way, and this way. And I do them with, uh, start off with three pounds in each hand. I go to five pounds in each hand. I go to eight pounds in each hand. I go to 10 pounds in each hand. And I do three sets uh, for each of the laps. I walk with each of these weights. And I walk 4.3 miles. Now, I don't do the weights on every part of the, on every lap. But I do four point plus two, three, four, five miles I'll walk with the weights on some of them. And I, I do up to a thousand curls. Then I go into the weight room and I do calf workout. I do uh, upper leg uh, workout. I do a uh, different shoulder uh, workouts. I do military presses and I do forward presses. I mean, I really, I have a two hour workout. My wife called me one day because she was off from work and I, she, I went to the gym and she said to me, she called me, she said, what are you taking so long at the gym for? She thought I'd be done like in half an hour, an hour. I was taking like two hours. And I wasn't fooling around with anybody. I praise God, I, I don't do that kind of stuff. I was working out. And so I'm telling you, I do that. Now, I put earbuds, AirPods in my ear. And when I'm walking the laps and doing the curls, I even listen to the scriptures. I listen to the word of God. I listen to good teaching. Sometimes I even listen to praise and worship. And I build myself up on my most holy faith. Now, 
coming to the close of this, I'm going to probably finish it up on Monday, but I'm going to talk about enforcing life in your body. Now, Charles Cap says this, mix thoroughly with faith and authority. And he says, these scriptures, uh, these confessions that you're about to make are to be taken by word of mouth as often as needed to maintain health and life. And so I'll say something like this, and I'll close with this one. I say to my body, body, I speak the word of faith to you, and I demand that every organ perform a perfect work. For you are the temple of the Holy Ghost. That's what I was saying to my body. Therefore, I charge you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the authority of his holy written word to be healed and made whole in Jesus' name. Proverbs 18 and 12. I speak that over my body. And then James 4, 7, I say, Father, I resist the enemy in every form that he comes against me. I require my body to be strong and healthy, and I enforce it with your word. I reject the curse, and I enforce supernatural life in my physical body. And then I say, based on Psalm 118, verse 17, I say, I will not die, but I will live and declare the works of God. I say that on myself, and I add to it. I say, and I'll not die young. I'll not die early. I'll not die tragically. I'll not even die suddenly. And I say, I will not die in my 60s because I'm 60 years old. I'll not die in my 70s, my 80s, or my 90s, or even when I reach 100, should the Lord tarry. Now, if he comes back during that time, I'll be happy to go with him. Glory to God. But I'm, I believe that I'm part, as Genesis 6 3 says, that I'll not only have long satisfied life, but I can live to be 120 years of age. I want to be a witness for the Lord for that long. That's how long I want to be alive, should the Lord tarry. And I want people to say, how'd that guy live to be 120 years old? Well, they'll look at me and they'll say, he did it by faith. He did it based on the word of God, by the fact that he had a covenant with God. Now, if I were to go home before, then don't get all nervous about it. I went to heaven, praise God. But I'm saying I'm going to live long and strong. And I'm the guy that had seven strokes in three parts of my brain, praise God. And I, t- I tell the Lord, I said, I'll not have Alzheimer's. I'll not have an ab- inability of memory loss. I'll not have, I'll not need a wheelchair. I'll not need a, a walker or even a cane for that matter. I just want to have one for, uh, yes, for good looks, praise God. You know, sometimes it can be debonair walking with a cane if you don't need it. <laughs> anyway. Uh, then I say things like this, that you have forgiven all my iniquities, you have healed all my diseases, you have redeemed my life from destruction, you have satisfied my mouth with good things, so that my youth is renewed as the eagles, based on Psalm 103, verses 2 through 5. And then lastly, I say this, Lord, you have blessed my food, and you bless my water, and you've taken sickness away from the midst of me. Therefore, I will fulfill the number of my days in health based on Exodus 23, verses 25, and verse number 26. Praise God. Now, we are going to take time to uh, share with you a few thoughts here. And I went to the trouble today, and I'm very, very excited about it, to share with you some things, and I'm going to share them right now, praise God. Amen. Amen. Well, let me take that off, and let me put this up. This is our book, and if you have an iPhone, I want you to turn it to the side so you can actually see this clear. I have a book called Church Happens, my latest book. I want want you to order from our website, churchhappensbook.com, and for pastors, you can go uh, to churchhappensbook.com and click on I'm a Pastor. Now, if you click on I'm a pastor, you can actually get a free copy sent to you by PDF file along with book ordering discount information. And this is my newest book, and I want to send it to pastors for free. Others have the opportunity to invest in this book. Buy several copies. Give them to your friends. Give them to your pastor. Ask him, say, we should order this for our church. And I know if you'll do that, you will be greatly blessed. Now, we also have... Uh, my first book, Discover the Life uh, You Are Born to Live, Dare to Make a Difference. Now, this book here uh, is a tremendous book that I wrote, 230 pages, and I'm telling you something, it will help people today. As a matter of fact, I have a four-hour seminar that I do based on that book, along with a power, uh, powerful Your Companion study guide that has questions, 
multiple choice, true and false, fill in the blanks, based on the first, on the actual book. So it's two volumes. It's the book and it's the companion study guide. Now, I want to have you order them, certainly, but at the same time, I want to come to churches around the country as the Lord opens doors and touches pastors' hearts. If you want me to come, then you can go to mjbministries.org forward slash invite. And uh, we'll set up a time uh, to come and do this seminar. It's a four-hour seminar. It's on a Saturday morning. We provide lunch in the cost. It's $30 per person. And it's $25 for the two books and $5 that we collect for the lunch. And we want to make sure that every pastor has an opportunity to bring this seminar into their church. And I'm telling you, Pastor, we're booking for 2022. And we would love to have the opportunity to come and be with you. And then I want to share with you something else. How many of you know we have an album, a live album, that's been out for a while now called Let Your Glory Fill This House. And all the songs are original songs. It was recorded live in Long Island years back. But it's such a powerful album. And the presence of God is a powerful new songs. And we even have a, a song in there called Spontaneous Worship where we just sing unto the Lord out of our hearts. It's beautiful. And you can get this on iTunes or however you download it from digital platforms. We don't have it on a CD right now, but you can get it to your smartphone or your smart pad or your computer. And I would encourage you to look for Let Your Glory Fill This House by Michael J. Burns. And I'm sure uh, you could absolutely have it in the name of Jesus. Can you say amen, somebody? Praise God. Now, uh, here we are, we're back, and as we're closing today's broadcast, I just want to encourage you uh, to visit our website, mjbministries.org, enjoy the free audios, enjoy the free newsletter, sign up for it, by the way, don't forget to sign up for it, we have the archives there, we have the link to our YouTube channel with over 200 free videos, we also have our MJB Ministries mobile app, the links for the Google Play and the uh, app store that you can get today and so i want you to get it it's our gift to you and then uh, we're also asking people tomorrow night especially you don't want to miss it on financial stewardship friday we're going to be sharing you with you a financial picture of mjb ministries and how many how many of you can have been praying about it can see how you could help us by being our partner on a regular monthly basis anyway we love you so much We'll look forward to seeing you uh, in the next uh, tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Friday night for Stewardship Friday. Praise God. Amen. And we hope you enjoy. God bless you.